Hello, welcome to another episode of the Pull List Examiner. This is my weekly video where I share my pull list. You can see my full pull list down in the description below, but I share my top three picks of what I will be picking up this week at my LCS with you. Uh, this is New Comic Book Day, week of February 23rd, 2022. Number three on my list this week is the all-new Firefly issue number one. Uh, if you've followed the Firefly series, it started all the way back in November of 2018. I'm a big Firefly fan, uh, the movie, and with this new series coming out, uh, a new author named David Buher will be taking over. David Buher is the author of the comic series Kanto, which has become very popular. So I'm looking forward to see how he's going to pick up the new series where Greg Pak has left off. Greg Pak did an amazing job over the last few years, extending the storyline right out of the movie, uh, Serenity, and right out of the TV show Firefly. So we'll see how this new series piques my interest. Number two on my list this week is Radio Apocalypse issue number two. I did pick up issue number one after seeing it recommended online through different uh, sources and I really wanted to take a look at issue number two because issue number one did pique my interest enough to continue to read it. Rob V is the writer who I've also uh, found very interesting by reading the current Swamp, Swamp Thing series. and. With this Radio Apocalypse series, he has said in a few interviews that it's taken almost three years to get to the point of writing it. And what he really wants people to see is the importance of music and how it can bring hope and even bring people together. And number one this week on my list is Dark Ages, issue number five. I found out about Dark Ages through Free Comic Book Day, I believe that was last year, and this is written by Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor seems to excel at these Elseworld tales, and here we have another Elseworld tale and another post-apocalyptic comic book series, but he's doing a really good job, and the writing has been very interesting, and used in the use of all of these Marvel characters, where they've ended up, has been really interesting as well. The overall plot line, without giving away too many spoilers, is that the, the entire planet no longer can generate electricity, but somehow the evil villain Apocalypse, who is on the other side of the planet, has figured out a way to generate electricity, which you need to read to figure out how we did that. And they are now uh, hitting issue number five, where we are about to see probably the uh, uh, almost finale because we're one issue away from the end of the series of what his plan is and how the superheroes are going to deal with him. So thanks for watching another episode of the Pull List Examiner. If you like my picks, if you don't like my picks, leave a comment below and let me know. If you have some recommendations, I always want to hear recommendations. Leave those below in the comments too. And again, you can always get my full pull list from the description of this video. And we'll see you all next week. And just remember to read them, bag them, and board them.